Okay, so let's uh, let's see what is a steady flow and what is the uniform flow. And instead of looking at the definitions and, and every explanation, I will just directly jump towards the diagrams and explanation of the experimental uh, example that I have created. Because I think that's better. So let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> so before I start this explanation, I would again like to tell you that what are we trying to see or learn is steady flow and uniform flow. Okay. Okay. So here we go. I have a pipe and you can see the construction of the pipe here. It's just a simple pipe. There is one inlet and maybe one outlet like this. And let's say I allow the water to flow through this pipe. So it looks like this. So, okay, the water is now flowing. It's being entering like this and it's getting out like that. Okay. Now, I have certain points on this pipe, point A, point B, and point C. So I just created three different locations on this pipe. I have just marked these positions on this pipe. So I can uh, focus on these different points later on while I'm going to do, trying to do some experiments. Okay. Now let's conduct one experiment. Let's uh, let's create a table. So one, two, three, and four columns, and you can just write it like this. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. And you know what is ABC? ABC means this point, B, this point, and C, this point. These are the locations on the point. So I have just marked these different locations on the pipe, and I have created a table for it as well. And then this line is uh, this is for time so i can write time and i can write time t1 time t2 and time t3 and so on you can go as much as experiments you want to conduct okay the water is flowing in this pipe like this and let's say after uh, i didn't leave some space for the time so i'll just edit this table a little bit and i'll just uh, Let's do it like this maybe and maybe like okay let's not let's not do this okay that's fine so here we go time t1 is zero minutes or zero seconds or whatever you, you can do it like this zero minutes time t2 is after one minute and time t3 is after two minutes these are the different time intervals after which I'm trying to conduct an experiment. Okay. Um, so what I do is that I try to uh, start my experiment and at time zero minutes, like just initially the first experiment uh, just is not started yet. So it's zero minutes right now. And I uh, call some of the volunteers or some people or some students and I place one student here I, I tell him stand here with this pipe another student is standing right here and another student is standing right here and maybe I am just standing here I'm giving them a sort of a, a order that find the velocity at point A to him find a velocity at point B to him find a velocity at point C so we are trying to find the velocity at these points right this and after they find it, they're going to shout it and they're going to tell me the velocity. I'm going to note it down right here. Okay. I just tell them at once that, okay, find the velocity. And all of them should do that at the same time. No one should be late or no one should be early. And they do that and they tell me the velocity. So it, this person tells me that it's one meter per second. This person tells me that it's three meter per second at B. And this person tells me that it's um, maybe anything, 7 meter per second. And I note them. I, I tell them, okay, it's fine. Now, keep on standing there. After one minute is passed, I tell them again to calculate the velocity once more. And they calculate it. And they find it 1 meter per second here, 3 meter per second again here, and 7 meter per second again here. Then I again tell him to tell them to wait and I again tell them to find the velocity and they tell me that one meter per second here, three meter per second here, and seven meter per second here. And now I tell them to stop and come here and let me tell you something. So what am I now going to tell them? I'm going to tell them that if you notice here, so the velocities are different at different locations. The velocity at point A is different from point B, is different from point C. All of them are different. 
but what's same is that with the time at zero minute it was same at one minute it was same as two minute as well similarly at point b either uh, it may be diff uh, different from the position but it's same with the time the time nothing is changing so this type of uh, uh, configuration in which with the time the velocities are not changing whether they are different even with the points but they are same with the time so i say that this velocity is a steady uh, this flow is a steady flow steady flow. done this is what we call as steady flow this is what's written in the definitions this is what is written in the explanation so if i read the definition of the steady flow now now you will get it it says the steady flow means when the value of the parameter parameter means velocity doesn't vary it's not different it's same with the time so you can see here it's same with the time 111 333 777 the same so that's steady flow now let's see what is uniform flow let's discuss uniform flow again i will uh, again make a table but a quick one so a b and c like this and then one for the time time i again write t1 t2 t3 equals to equals to equals to maybe zero again and one again and two again and again i tell them to go and stand there so one person goes there one there one there and i'm standing here and i'm going to again tell them calculate the velocity at zero just initial the beginning so they're going to calculate the velocity at once and they're going to tell me again and i'm going to note them now so it's going to be maybe four meter per second at point a this time then I uh, also the B1 tells me it's four as well here as well I'm like wow and then the point C tells me it's four here as well I'm like okay then I tell them again after one minute to find the velocity again and they calculate it and they are like okay it's six meter per second here it's six meter per second at B as well and it's six meter per second at C as well fine after three uh, two minutes I tell them okay again do the experiment and they calculate it 8 meter per second here 8 meter per second here and 8 meter per second here now I tell them to stop the experiment and come here and now I'm going to explain them what happened so now if you see with the time if you see time 0 1 2 the velocities are different with the time they are not same anymore so I can say that it's not steady it's definitely not steady because with the time the velocities are different but they are same with the space if you see the space here so a p c it's four consecutively four similarly at point a point p point c after one minute it's different from the previous time but it's same at all the positions no matter what so i can say again it's not four but it's same at the whole pipe similarly here it's same at the whole pipe or at the, all the positions it's same so this type of uh, flow in which the velocity of the fluid is same at every position irrespective of the time it's same at every position it's same at every position we say that this type of uh, flow is uniform flow so with the time the flow is not same but with the position abc it's same 444 so we say it's uniform so now if you see the definition of the uniform flow you're going to get that it says that uniform flow means when the value of the parameter which is velocity doesn't vary over the space or we can say position so when it's same with the position so we say that this is a uniform flow so you can see now the difference between the steady flow and the uniform flow. Let's see this difference between both of them. So here we go. This is a steady flow. So the steady flow is same with the time, one 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 three 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 seven seven seven. But the uniform flow is different with the time. It's four six eight four six eight four six eight. So this is a difference. The steady flow is same with the time. The uniform flow is different with the time. Another difference. 
the steady flow is different with the space 137 but the uniform flow is same with the space 444 666 888 so that's the difference between the steady and the uniform flow so we can write it here we can just i can just remove this thing and i can write steady i can and write uniform and now you know that what's the difference between both of them the steady flow is same with time the uniform flow is same with space or position space or position so again if i show you the space or position means a b c 444 a b c 666 a b c 888 so there's this thing that it might not be same with the time like 4 6 and 8 is different but 4 4 4 it's same with the position 6 6 6 it's same with the position similarly the unit uh, the steady flow is same with the time so 1 1 1 3 3 3 7 7 7 okay so that's pretty much the explanation of the uh, steady flow and the uniform flow if i tell you another example maybe the velocities are like this like it should it may be at point a point b and point c with the different time t1 t2 and t3 the velocities are 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1, one. so you can see it's same with the position and with the time with the position same with the time same so we can say that this type of flow is steady as well as uniform steady and uniform flow this is the uh, explanation of the steady and the uniform flow and the basic explanation has been told this is a, another explanation that you can read and maybe note that down with yourself and this is the same thing that i've just explained and these are the definitions that you can note down with yourself thank you very much that was explanation for the steady and the uniform flow and take care bye bye